Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? This is Wildboy789789, and I'm feeling good enough to do another battle here in Brion, I believe is how it's pronounced. Uh, this battlefield is alright. I'm not a big fan of all these woods. Look at this vanguard job over here. But we have a band of orcs. Rampage, rampaging through the uh, the uh, landscape over here, and Grimgore, I believe, as well. Grimgore and Azag. No, no, he's just an orc uh, war boss. And these war bands are coming into uh, the view of the dwarf band, led by this thrall over here. It's a generic lord. And my team led by the Arch Lector. So let's check out the army comps real quick. The two orc armies are kind of merged together so I'm just gonna go over all of them. We have... I would go into slow-mo but uh... I don't know I think I think cannon fire is gonna start soon. We have the goblins here, the regular goblins. I love when people use uh, cheaper units for strategy. Not a lot of people use them. We have a band of savage orcs. Let me get this camera angle better. Right on. We have a orc shaman. So, we're going to see some big wog magic. The Arachnorok spider. Truly a pain. Covered in these uh, jungle goblins, forest goblins. I believe they shoot arrows. They're supposed to. Yeah. Savage orcs. In the back, the black orcs. The line of the orc elite. What do we got here? Night Goblin Shaman. So the Little Wog and the Big Wog are going to be in this battle. There's Grimgore. And they're kind of keeping the meat of their army right here. But what they've done over here is hidden some Black Orcs. And Savage Orcs. They have afforded a lot of units. This is a uh, medium funds battle. And vanguarded out here, goblin wolf riders, probably because all the goblins, they had tons of money left over. Goblin spider riders, which are also forest goblins, yep. I love the uniforms on these guys. Shields, they're sick. And it looks like two units of each of those. I'm pretty sure these guys were friends and working together. Uh, I randomly met up with this dwarf army, but that's all right. Dwarves are quite good. We have miners vanguarded out here, which he thought would probably get a nice flank, but I'm sure are about to get absolutely stomped by that cavalry. <laughs> Let's see. And his main force over here. We're a bit more spread out for battlefield control. His lord, long beards, with their great long beards and great long shields and great long axes. The organ gun, shorter range, but very good at taking out infantry. I'm glad they brought it. I love the uniforms on these engineers too. Very, very cool. Iron Breakers, hiding in the back, kind of reserved as the Black Orcs were. Iron Drakes, if not used properly, a complete waste of money. But if used properly, they are fantastic. Slayers. You know, guys, I didn't even know he had these Slayers. 
and I really, really wish, I don't even know what he did with them, because I was, you know, I was focused on my team at the time, but I really wish he would have thrown that unit at the Arachnorok spider, because it's really the only monster they have over there, and quite frankly, it chewed me up quite a bit, all right? Now, I got some prayer going off, which is some craziness. I've only seen this with Bretonia before. So the Arch Lector is doing something. Spearmen with shields. That was kind of my uh, little extra money I had left over. The Flagellants, I believe is how it's pronounced. I do not have a clue. These guys are very cool. They're unbreakable, dual-wielding, Sigmar devotees, I'm pretty sure. Very cool. And I got... Uh, Two units? Three. Three units. I thought I had three units. My cannons. Regular old cannons. And my amber wizard on foot. Very cool indeed. Very cool. Let's take another look at my lord here since we passed by him. I put him on a barded war horse. Two one hand weapons. He's basically a beefed-up warrior priest with all sorts of lordly abilities. And I have kind of vanguarded out here. These guys aren't vanguarded. They're off to the flank. The Royal Altdorf Griffites. Excuse me. Yes. And... The Sterling's Revenge Free Company Militia. These guys are vanguarded out a bit, but not too far. So let's get this thing started. They don't have any artillery, it's just us. We must be triumphant! Seeking enemy! We are the bulwark against the green menace! Who will win? I dreamt of the comet last night. Moving down. It's Did an you? Omen. It's an omen. Folkmar's frown. We must not relent. Yeah. Oh. Hammer and swords, lad. That's all we need. I move my griffins around the side there. Yes, my lord. Oh, do we get any hits? Into the goblins. Oh God. What can we do? What can be done? <laughs> Slayers being absolutely wasted. I think he was trying to save his miners. All right, slow motion real quick. Sorry, but they basically are gonna crash into us like a wave and I wanna get the Slayers and the Cav, oh, the Cav is already fighting. The Dwarves aren't doing bad, they're breaking them. Slayer's still running in. Where's this Manticore, the front line? We're gonna watch the front line over here first. Okay, right into my cannons. No, that's not a Manticore, that's a... Uh, what am I thinking? That's their lord. Ah! Okay, back over here. Jesus. That was a foot of Bork or something? No? I'm not certain. Back to slow mo. Let me find somewhere else. The battle's kicking off everywhere. Holy cow. The Griffins have slaughtered this unit of uh, goblins. The Freemen are shooting into the orcs. Ah! 
Oh my goodness. I'm getting my griffins out of there. They've charged in a bunch of savage orcs. But my guys are holding strong. Jeez! Because that's fair. But that's okay. We are not going to let them get away so easily. Back to the dwarves, my allies. They appear to be breaking them. Holding the line pretty good. The slayers have been killed. Yeah, killed by something. Okay. My spears are trying to hold back these savage orcs. They are gonna get absolutely chewed up. Sending in more of my crazies, my unbreakables. Oh. Trying to bloody up these savage orcs. There we go again with the griffins. He's gonna finally tie me down with that damn spider. My amber wizard is still good. I already summoned the manticore and he got killed in absolutely a few seconds. It was ridiculous. I'm casting everything I can. I believe it's like that Call of the Crows or something. Or no, that was my Arch Lecter casting something. Slow-mo is called for. Okay, they have ran off my militia, which I will turn around and find out they're chilling over there. I'm running off a bunch of their goblins. My mage is very good health. Here he's casting that debuff. With the crows, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I believe it debuffs speed and does direct damage or something like that. My lord is still good and healthy. I was feeling pretty good, except for the spider. I really could have used those slayers. The spears with shields are still holding, just because they have shields. Okay, what's going on here? The black orcs have came in. And Grimgor as well. He's sending his slayers against the Lord, who is Great Axe Infantry, not large, not a monster. I'm quite disappointed in that, I have to say. I'm very, very extremely disappointed in that. So as you can see, my force is getting a bit smaller. Luckily, these guys don't break, and they're doing what they can. He's casting buffs, yep. He's casting spells. My Arc Lector. Bravely fighting on. I believe we killed uh, the Orc War Boss. No, he flew off. Oh, and there I am. I am broken with half my health bar. My units over here were shooting at these guys, but broke. I have a few uh, flagrants left, because they're unbreakable. And the dwarves just melted. So it looks like the orcs are victory, have victory this day. They totally overwhelmed us. Just savage orcs, the spider, the quick calf. They ate up all my ammo on their goblins. Both their casters. They were both very good with their casters. And, you know, 
I was doing pretty good with my caster and my lord, and they were doing all right holding the line. I think we should have put our lines closer together, and I'm severely disappointed that he absolutely wasted those slayers. Wasted them. Because I actually almost broke this force over here. And, you know, he did get a quick charge on my cannons. I probably should have had the spear unit right on top of the cannons. But yeah, we lost this one. Thanks for watching. It's been Wildboy789789. I'll see you in the next one.